Uh, my name is Mike Bell and I am a school nurse in Doncaster. We've got our eClinic app young people can download. Uh, that's a, an instant messaging service where they can um, book an appointment to speak to a school nurse um, about any kind of physical health, emotional health or sexual health issue that they might have or if they've got any questions about any health issues. Um, it's an app that is has been designed for 11 to 19 year olds in Doncaster and that's available Monday to Friday um, from 3 p.m. till 5 p.m. So we are on in the school nurse team we are on four platforms of social media we have a Twitter account a Facebook account an Instagram account and a Snapchat account the Snapchat is aimed to our um, secondary school pupils our Facebook is aimed predominantly at our parents and carers, um, but also at, at young people as well. Um, our Instagram is aimed at young people and professionals. And our Twitter account is how we link in with a lot of our primary and secondary schools and also other professionals such as Doncaster Council and other health professionals that we, that we link in with as well. So we're linking with schools every September and October um, predominantly to complete the school health plans with schools. We've had to tailor that a little bit more uh, specifically this year because some of the things that we've offered, such as puberty sessions um, and safe touch sessions in our primary schools, um, we've had to alter them slightly because of various lockdowns. Um, we're now in conversation with a lot of our schools on delivering those sessions via um, MS Teams um, or Zoom, you know, virtual sessions with the pupils in class, um, but with us being separate from them outside of class. If a pupil um, came to us and, and said that they were being bullied or they had some issues around bullying, then we would, um, you know, tell them about our service, tell them what we can help them with. Um, we would obviously try and give them the best advice that we could. They can contact us um, through our single point of contact. They can contact us through the eClinic app, which is absolutely ideal for them because they can access that anywhere they can, as long as they have um, a signal on their mobile device. Um, and they've got data allowance, they can access that from anywhere. So um, the eClinic app is is fundamental to our service on, on allowing um, pupils to contact us about any kind of health issues. And bullying is something that we do talk to uh, young people about on a, on a regular basis. Um, there is also a messenger facility on our Facebook page. So parents or young people can contact us directly through messenger um, about any kind of health issues, including things like bullying. My name's Alison and I'm a Band 5 community staff nurse in the Doncaster School Nursing Team. Particularly now more than ever, everyone is aware of the importance of looking after our mental and emotional health and well-being. Um, this is something that we're supporting children and young people with um, currently through the pandemic. Um, as a team, we continue to visit schools and home addresses um, to support with this, we're also attending schools and home addresses to complete health assessments, which some of these being with the most vulnerable children. If a child's not in school and need our help, we have the single point of contact, um, which is available for parents, children and professionals to contact. Also, we have social media and e-clinic service, which is available for young people aged between 11 and 19. Despite the current situation and lots of children not attending school at the moment, we are still available regardless. My name's Charlotte and I'm a health screening practitioner for the Doncaster School Nursing Team. So the National Child Measurement Programme, otherwise known as the NCMP, um, we've been going around different spots, different schools in Doncaster and we weigh and measure the children then work out the BMI. And then we have also screened 40% of schools in Doncaster so far. Um, we've also screened 40% uh, of schools in Doncaster in their hearing and vision. Um, we've also been screening year one children because they missed out last year due to the pandemic. So making sure they haven't missed out, we've been screening them as well. So for a status, we'll, we'll all wear PPE. So we'll may look a little bit different. And then we also, between screening each and every child, we wipe all our equipment down. Um, we've also created a little video explaining to the children what will happen and like making them feel at ease before the other screening process. Statistics on how children of your age group have grown since you were measured in reception. 
Our team has also created a dental video for the children to watch, explaining the importance of dental hygiene and how to keep up with dental hygiene in a fun and engaging way. This is even more important now due to, due to most dentists only taking emergency appointments due to the current climate. This video can be found on YouTube by searching Doncaster School Nursing Dental Hygiene. Thank you.